What's up, everybody? You know what it is. This is Henry, and today we got a special feature here with Lee Win Lee from the Community Center in the International District. Welcome, Lee Win. Hey, thank you, Henry. Thanks for having me today. You know, it's, it's, it's great to help out in the community. It's great to see everybody doing so well at a time like this, you know, uh, especially like, you know, all these restaurants, like they're struggling and, and I understand too. It's, it's just rough to seeing our CID like this. True that, true that. Give it, just to give a little bit of a contextual background, Lee Wynn and I, we just finished delivering groceries to the low-income seniors and families of the CID. Mm -hmm. uh, Lee Wynn, you want to speak a little bit about that? How'd you feel? Like, what's your takeaway? You know, it's great to be out there, to, to be giving to, to the communities like this. You know, all, all these seniors, uh, the fact that they live in low-income housing, it, it sucks that they live by themselves. And, you know, to have them go through uh, a time like this where they're just locked up at home all the time, it, it's, it, it really sucks. So I'm really glad to see a lot of happy faces when we bring them groceries and just have them, you know, just say thanks. And that already feels really, really good to myself. I'm glad you had a positive experience working with us today, and I'm glad that you were able to contribute to the community in this way. But, you know, in this interview, it's all about community in the CID Seattle, but at the Absolutely. same time, we're also going to be eating some delicious takeout from a restaurant also in the CID. And today's restaurant, we're going to be featuring Pad Thai from Song Fang Kang. So, Lee Wen, if you want to give a little, little show, show them what you got. Oh man, you know, this looks absolutely gorgeous. Like, I just oh, gotta yeah. show you guys this. Oh my oh, wow. goodness, yeah. like, so pretty, so so colorful. It's yes. amazing, amazing. So a little bit about the food we got today. It's, a, it's from a Thai restaurant. It's a very small local mom and pop shop. Um, it's on Jackson Street, I forget the street. I don't know my streets really well, but I just know my way around <laughs> the neighborhood. That's all, okay? For sure, for sure. But you know, I'm not a bit, I haven't been eating much Thai food in my whole life, but I got to tell you, man, I love the Thai flavor, especially that spice, that little fish sauce taste. Hey, and and the citrus, always got like, me. That citrus from the lime. I got yes, a, yes, a absolutely. Got a, ooh, right there, all over the chicken. Can't forget the lime, you know. Yes. Ooh, there we go. Beautiful, mm. gorgeous, gorgeous. Delicious. So, Lee Wen, yes, that, uh, you know, you're an employee at the Chinatown Community Center. Mm -hmm. What have you been doing recently? So, as of right now, our, uh, most of our centers are closed. Uh, we, uh, we only got some uh, community centers that are open uh, for, for shelters, uh, for, for the women's shelter, the men's shelter, and showers only at, at this moment. And we're just waiting on further not notice from the, from the governor and just to try to see what kind of actions we're able to take. And, you know, we're at, the, we're at uh, a lot of our coworkers are at the front line right now and they're doing their best. And, you know, I, I wish everybody good health and safety, you know, all that good stuff. And I'm glad to hear that because I know the staff at the community center are very invested in, you know, uplifting the community in any way they can. I've hosted several events at the community center and ranging from, you know, like ballot parties to we do cooking classes there. And it's a great space. It's a, a very great culture, great environment there. So I really, really appreciate you, Lee Wen. I appreciate you. And I appreciate, you know, all the other staff like Brenna, of course, and uh, for always having us um, at the space, no matter what. Of course. And, you know, we can't have all that good stuff without the community coming around. So sure. definitely sure. thanks to the community for yeah. having us around. But anyways, Lee Wen, let's, let's cheers to our first bite. I already had my first bite, but we got to do this together. That's right. Like, all right. Uh, uh, pad Thai, chicken pad Thai noodle with some bean sprouts. That bean sprout is going to add a little crunchiness, that texture, you know? Definitely. Yeah. All right. Cheers, man. Little, little tap, tap. Cheers. Let's do this. Mm. Mm, just the right amount of spice, you know, not too spicy. And there's always that, that good flavor, that wok flavor that's just in there. And 100% Lee I love the tamarind sauce. I have no idea what it's made of, but I, I just know it's sticky, sweet, a little savory. Definitely. And I love how it's like thinly coated over the rice noodles, mm -hmm. not too and heavy or drenched. Yes. Like in the past, some of the pad thai that I've, that I've had, um, you know, when you bite into it, like they, they said they had eggs in there, you know, but, but you don't really taste the eggs because it's like, so, um, 
so it's like small pieces, but here you can clearly see that they're these eggs. They're oh my goodness, I big see pieces, that. big pieces, just like that. Wow. And the, and the chicken, oh man, the these chicken is not it's not like dried, you know, chicken breast. Like it's very very juicy, very good. There we go, right there. Mm. That chicken breast, and then you can see like it's just coated in seasoning and spices. Mm. Very Marcus good. Agree. Like I said in the beginning, my favorite part about Thai cuisine is that citrus punch because it just like lifts up the whole flavor. It makes it fresh, refreshing, and very like vibrant in, mm -hmm. in a taste profile, flavor profile. I love it. Absolutely. And oh man, these, these bean sprouts just, you can, you can just tell how fresh these are. I agree. Super mm. crispy and crunchy. Very. Yeah, and the one thing I really like about chicken pad thai is it's got so much textures. You got the softness from the rice noodle. You have crispiness from the raw onions and the julienne, the carrots, some green onions there. And then, like you said earlier, the bean sprouts add a little crunch to it. It takes all the flavor to bring the, the whole piece together, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like you got the whole food family right here. And mm -hmm. we're eating them. Mm-hmm. So back to the community talk, Lewin. You know, when, when you first heard of the coronavirus uh, hitting, you know, Seattle, when it was relevant in Seattle, what was your initial reaction to it? Like, what was, what was the first thing that came to mind? You know, absolutely. Um, it was definitely family, you know, coming to mind um, with like initially, like, you know, hearing about the whole case, how it impacts you know the, the the elderly folks a lot more than the regular folks i would say um the first thing that comes to mind is my grandma you know i have i have one that that lives in the imperial house down in cid and i have one that that lives at home uh but at the time i'm i still had to come to work so you know i have to make sure i wear my face mask my my gloves uh, right when i come home i gotta make sure i take a shower j just so i could get clean and just <laughs> be responsible of like what whatever I can do. Feel it, hey man, that's good. That's I mean, it's great. It's great to know that you have a family living in the neighborhood. And today, matter of fact, Imperial House was one of the buildings we went to deliver to. Were you able to see your grandma there? Um, unfortunately, she she was at home and then she couldn't really hear me knock. But <laughs> but afterwards, I I gave her a call and I told her, hey, you got groceries outside your uh your door, grandma. And she's like, oh my goodness, I didn't even get to see you. But, you know, nevertheless, I'm, uh, one of these weeks, I'm definitely going to be able to catch her and, you know, see how, uh, how she is. But I've been hey. giving her calls and she's been doing well. That's perfect, man. You know, a lot of people, they really, um, they don't know about the Toysanese dialect. And I know you, Lee Wen, you're like the Toysanese expert. Can you give us a little, little taste, a little sample of how you would, you know, greet your grandma, letting her know that you got groceries outside the door today? You know, oh, absolutely. You know, you know, uh, just just to give a small example to, to some of our folks that that's helping uh, volunteer. Uh, if, if you see them, you can you can say, hi, <laughs> you know, wow. uh, basically say, hey, grandma, you know, we're, we're here to give out vegetables just Dang. just so they know. That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. It's, it's all about, you know, the youth these days, like, you know, young adults. You and me, we're in the mid twenties. It's very important for us to know, you know, our, our cultural, you know, native tongue. Being being able to speak a little bit goes a long way. It's all about, you know, the body language and how you tie it in to communicate with the elderly and, uh, you know, just people in the neighborhood who don't know how to speak English. So, it's great that uh, you know all these uh, Chinese dialects. And uh, I, I'm very happy to have you on the delivery run today. Hey, I'm glad you gave me a call yesterday. You know, uh, <laughs> I, I could tell you guys are pretty short on people, like knowing that you're, you're giving me a call. So I just got to help my man out. You know, I, I love to give back to the community as well. So it's, it's great. And, you know, I'm very blessed to be able to speak uh, these different dialects of Chinese. Uh, it has really helped me uh, a long way. Um, and just meeting everyone in the uh, community, being able to uh, – bring our distance a little bit closer uh, with our language barrier. Um, I'm, I'm very happy with that. True, true. That's good. So let's go back to the food really quick. Um, you know, have you ever tried Song Feng Kang's uh, cuisine, the Thai cuisine? You know, I've had uh, a lot of different Thai cuisine at uh, the CID, but this is my very first time trying Song Feng Kang. 
Dang, that's nice. That's nice. So what, what would you tell people? Imagine like, you know, people wanted to try some Thai food in the, in the CID neighborhood and they didn't really know where to go. What, what, what would you recommend these people? Like, some fang kang on oh. jackson street you know where it oh, is dang it's that good it must be that good it is that good you know oh, and amazing. i'm i and i want to thank the people there that that contributed to uh to our volunteers uh to to bring these uh amazing cuisine for, for them to to get their energy back up and and also thank you to all the volunteers i uh i worked with today amazing people great people and everyone's really nice amazing that's amazing well Lewin, if I had to, um, you know, just closing off this interview, if you had one thing you wanted to share with the viewers today, what would you like them to know? Um, you know, in, in the past uh, week or so, I've seen a lot of people, there's been a, a lot of disagreements uh, between uh, whether this, this coronavirus is very severe or, or not. Um, all I can say is that please, 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 let's all do our parts and just, just be as... Um, Lost my train of thoughts, uh, but uh, just 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 try to uh, stay clean, stay safe. You know, um, we're not doing this for us. We're actually doing it for the people around us. You know, for the ones that are uh, really that that that's really suffering from this. And yeah, I I just want to I just want to hope that everybody stays safe. That's great, Lewin. Seems like you're a very genuine guy, and you have a lot of a lot of heart for the community. Well, I want to thank you for making this very first appearance on this food and interview video I got going on. Um, thanks, for ha thanks for joining me today, and uh, I wish you well, my friend. Thank you, Henry. Thank you, thank you for having me, and most of all, thank you. Thank you for doing this for the community. Of course. Well, let's go ahead and finish off this food, and I uh, wish you a good weekend, Lewin. All right, you too. Take care. All right, peace out. Peace out.